Welcome to Siemens Residential Controls. This video will guide you through the installation of an RCR10-433 receiver unit. The RCR10-433 is a radio frequency receiver unit. It receives signals from either the RDH10RF or RDJ10RF in order to switch the boiler on or off. The RCR10-433 requires a permanent live and neutral connection for the RF receiving circuit. However, the switching circuit is volt free which allows the switching of devices from 24 to 230 volts. The RCR10-433 should be securely mounted to a wall. The location should be considered carefully to guarantee optimal reception from the thermostat device with a minimum distance of 400mm from the boiler. Ensure you test reception of the on and off signals to confirm there is no interference. The ideal installation would be a clear line of sight, accounting for a maximum unobstructed transmission distance of 20 meters. If the transmission has no option but to pass through walls, the transmission should be tested prior to final sighting of the receiver. If there are any other transmission devices in between the receiver and the thermostat, please move these at least one meter away from the line of sight. We enter near the device to be as interference free as possible but by moving other devices, it reduces any opportunity for interference. We suggest that you separately isolate the boiler so that you do not need to cut power to the receiver when isolating the boiler for servicing or maintenance. To power the receiver, run a two-core power cable to carry live and neutral to the device from a 3 amp fused spur. No earth is required. Because the unit is volt-free and double insulated, the number of wires required to operate the receiver depends on the signal required to control the device. If the control signal required is 24 volts, you will need to run a two-core cable to supply a 24-volt control signal from the control device. These cables need to terminate at LX and L1. If the device being controlled requires a 230-volt signal, a link can be fitted from the permanent live on the receiver to common terminal on LX on the lower terminal block and a single-core cable can be run from L1 to the device. You can test reception of the unit and the switch live functionality by pressing the test button on the rear of the thermostat. Press the test button once more to exit test mode. When you first supply power to the device, ensure the thermostat is close to the receiver, as the two units are programmed during manufacture to immediately bind with each other. 